Hello everyone! Do you enjoy watching videos featuring various incredible moments caught on camera? Welcome to our channel! Get comfortable as we dive right into unbelievable moments captured on camera. Without further ado, let's get started! Do you remember the story of Aladdin's lamp? It's the tale where when Aladdin rubs the magic lamp, a powerful genie emerges from it. It might seem strange, but this fairy tale serves as a reminder not to underestimate something called a hydraulic cylinder. Carelessly striking it just once will make you realize the formidable nature of this lamp's spirit. Electric buses are meant to make the world cleaner and a better place, right? But is that really the case? Take a look at the 71 bus operated by RATP, Paris Public Transportation, in Paris. On April 29, 2022, this bus was traveling in the southeastern part of Paris when smoke began to emit from its roof while parked, eventually leading to an explosion. After this small explosion, the bus ignited like fireworks, sending sparks in all directions. Thanks to the driver evacuating passengers before the accident, the damage was limited to property damage and a thick column of smoke rising into Paris's sky. This can't be good for the environment, right? What are your thoughts? Just three weeks before this incident, another electric bus from the same manufacturer caught fire in Paris. Due to these incidents, all 148 Blue Bus 5SE buses were removed from service. Safety comes first, and the environment follows, doesn't it? Not everyone dreams of setting out to the open sea on an ice floe. Penguins certainly don't. So, they gather together and make a swift escape from perilous and foreboding places. But look, one penguin has been left behind on the ice floe. It must hurry to reach the icy bridge connecting the ice floe and the land. Run! Run! Usain Bolt himself would envy the speed of this little penguin. Finally, the penguin skillfully leaps over the crack and slides on its belly back to its family. Bravo! Do you like dominoes? They're quite popular in Copenhagen, Denmark. In 2013, a domino course with 7,000 blocks was created in this location, stretching over 3 kilometers. Once this experimental event began, the chain reaction of falling bricks traveled with the film crew through construction sites, streets, and landmarks in Copenhagen. The domino line entered residential buildings, climbed stairs, and passed through rooms. Then, with bricks falling from several stories high, a new stage of this event began, and the dominoes crossed several bridges, even taking a ferry ride and delighting spectators on the town's main street. The typical weight of a cast iron manhole cover is around 50 kilograms. Lifting such weight is no easy task for a person, but these manhole covers appear to float above the ground, looking as light as cotton. It's quite mesmerizing, but it can also be a hazard for pedestrians and passing vehicles. Dancing manhole covers are typically seen when the sewer system is filled with water after heavy rainfall. Air pockets form within the sewer, and when released, they create this phenomenon only near the manhole covers, resembling air escaping from the holes of a flute. Why a flute, you ask? Occasionally, this phenomenon comes with pleasant acoustics. Maintain social distance, they say. Don't visit other people's homes during quarantine, they warned. But you can still play tennis. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, 11-year-old Carola and her 13-year-old friend, Vittoria, who live in the Liguria region of Italy, decided to demonstrate that they could practice tennis no matter the restrictions. Playing a little tennis on the rooftop is fantastic. Their rooftop tennis was so amazing that Roger Federer couldn't resist the opportunity to play rooftop tennis, and he arrived on the scene right away. Is there anything better than playing tennis with your idol? What happened at the Seoul Grand Park Zoo in South Korea? Well, a small elephant took one step too many and got too close to the pool. 
When the baby elephant fell into the water, it caused quite a commotion. The 13-year-old mother elephant tried to pull the baby out, but wasn't successful. However, enter a caring 36-year-old auntie elephant. Flapping her ears as she rushed over, and this situation took a dramatic turn. The two female elephants, using their long trunks, knew that the baby elephant could breathe underwater and even swim. Nonetheless, both of them rushed into the pool and gently guided the baby elephant to safety on the land. This cooperative behavior is typical of elephant extended families. Just look at this, even the elephant in the neighboring enclosure is pacing back and forth, clearly concerned about the baby elephant. Before evacuating, it's essential to know what's beneath the surface. It could be treasure, or it could be high-pressure cables. Unfortunately, this excavator operator hit high-pressure cables. However, luckily for him and the workers around him, everyone came out unscathed. Especially considering that there were propane gas cylinders nearby, it was truly fortunate. At the SEC Outdoor Track and Field Championships, 20-year-old American athlete Infinite Tucker was exhausted near the end of the course. However, he was determined to win this 400-meter hurdle race. Having come in second place a year earlier, he wasn't going to stop just short of success again. Summoning his last reserves of energy, Tucker literally dove towards the finish line. This dive might not be the most graceful, but it was highly effective, allowing Tucker to pass his rival Robert Grant by a few millimeters. Grant was so surprised that he somersaulted head over heels, but victory eluded him. Even in adverse weather conditions, a pilot has to board a ship to guide it into port. This requires a well-trained body, sharp focus and, of course, considerable courage. Because in rough waters like this, not everyone can summon the courage to step into the swinging pilot ladder. However, the pilots of the port of Everglades board ships like true superheroes. No matter how rough the sea, they simply do their duty. When people think of aliens landing on Earth, many imagine terrifying monster invasions. But perhaps it could turn out like this video filmed by Rob Maines in 2019. Aliens from the mattress planet landing in a Denver, USA park, greeted by the cheerful laughter of Earthlings. A friendly encounter between two civilizations. Of course, that's just a joke. These aren't aliens. These are actually dozens of mattresses set up for a movie night under the stars, which ended up taking a walk through the neighborhood due to strong winds. But don't they look oddly creature-like to you? Meetings at the workplace aren't exactly known for being exciting and are often quite boring, to be honest. However, at a branch of the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, in the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, things took an unexpected turn. During the morning assembly, a colorful snake literally dropped from above onto the staff. If the snake had a bag with it, it might have exclaimed something like, Bank robbery! Quickly, put all the sandwiches into this bag! But this was an unexpected trouble even for the snake itself. The 1.5 meter long snake was in shock and tried to hide under the sofa. Meanwhile, bank employees scattered in all directions. Working with special clients is always stressful. Fortunately, local wildlife rescue center staff quickly arrived at the office and resolved the issue. The 5 kilogram snake was placed in a bag and taken to a rehabilitation facility. Surprisingly, a year before this incident, staff from the rescue center had already come to this branch and captured a snake. It seems this bank has an undeniable appeal for snakes. Perhaps they offer special lending services for snakes. This is a transmission tower. And this is the explosion happening on top of three cable wires. But don't be scared, it's okay. The footage you're seeing is a normal procedure where explosives are used to connect power lines. The energy from the explosion securely fastens two wires with a special fitting, while the person is safely positioned at a distance. William Sherwood Fox once said, Of all the liars among mankind, the fisherman is the most trustworthy. So, if a fisherman claims to have seen thousands of fish in the desert, you can trust his words without hesitation. 
Having a video to support his words would be especially reliable. How did this river of fish appear in the hot desert? Perhaps a reservoir somewhere broke, or maybe it captured the annual fish migration route from lake to lake. We don't know the truth. But if anyone knows, please write your own hypothesis in the comment section. We look forward to hearing your opinions. Now, that concludes today's video. Thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget about us and come visit us often. On this channel, we always have something to amaze you. Well, it's time to say goodbye for a little while. Everyone, see you again soon. Goodbye.